గుడ్ మార్నింగ్ వెల్కమ్ టు అవర్ ఛానల్ విద్యాపీఠం జాయ్ ఆఫ్ లర్నింగ్ హాయ్ ఐఎమ్ నాగేశ్వరి అసిస్టెంట్ ప్రొఫెసర్ నౌ ఐఎమ్ గోయింగ్ టు టాక్ అబౌట్ ద సబ్జెక్ట్ కాల్డ్ యాజ్ హ్యూమన్ రైట్స్ ఇట్ ఈస్ కమ్స్ అండర్ ది అన్నా యూనివర్సిటీ సిలబస్ సబ్జెక్ట్ కోడ్ యాజ్ జిఇ ఎయిట్ జీరో సెవెన్ ఫోర్ in this video i am going to discuss about the introduction of human rights yes introduction of human rights so what are the different basics introduction of human right what are the what is human rights and what is the main definition of human rights and uh, what are the different uh, important rights of human rights and what are the different characteristics of human rights all these things we are going to learn in this video yes so the picture shows the human rights qualities that is nothing but equality freedom peace hope dignity rule of law prosperity and justice so all these combined together is acting as a human rights so as per the prescribed syllabus so human rights divided into five units so the first unit we are going to see the introduction of human rights that is the what is meant by that the meaning and where it origin so and uh, when it developed so that is origin and development of human rights and next one is the classification of human rights we are going to see so basically there are seven to eight classification of human rights major classification of human rights that is natural moral legal rights civil rights political rights economic rights social and cultural rights next collective and solidarity rights so these are the major rights human rights we are going to discuss in this first unit now comes the second unit so in second unit we are going to see about the evolution of the concept that is the main evolution where it starts that is nothing but the magna carta so magna carta the geneva convention and uh, udhr that is universal declaration of human rights so it declared in december 10th 1948 right okay and what are the theories of human rights so all these four things four important points we are going to discuss in as a unit 2 now comes the unit 3 so in unit 3 so we are going to discuss about the theories and perspectives of un laws and uh, un agencies different agencies to monitor and compliance so these two important parameters we are going to see in unit 3 now comes the unit 4 so in unit 4 especially we are going to see about the human rights in india in our country yes so human rights in india that is and as well as the constitutional provisions and guarantees what are the constitutional provisions and guarantees in india so everything we are going to discuss in unit 4 now comes the unit 5 so unit 5 so in unit 5 so we are going to discuss about the general thing that is the human rights of uh, disadvantaged people women children displaced persons disability person next including aged and hiv infected people then implementation of human rights that is nhrc shrc next judiciary role of ngos media educational institutions and social movement so everything so in central so what are the human rights specified in these kind of categories we are going to discuss in the unit 5 that is as the last unit now come let us see the introduction of human rights before going to see the introduction of human rights now there will be one important question comes in the students mind that why hr is for engineers why 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 
Why the HR? That is, so engineers have a tradition of contributing in practical and meaningful ways to develop the solution. Okay, so but seldom within the explicit framework of human rights. So they are having the contributing the practical implementations. Okay, so this subject will explore the meaning to adopt a human rights based approach to the engineering the roles and responsibilities of each and every individual engineers when designing and implementing the projects okay so and their opportunities to contribute to the human rights through research and as well as the teaching so this subject so deals to adopt the basics of human rights in air their um, uh, deals about the approaching the deals about the roles and their responsibilities so while they are implementing their uh, their projects the research etc etc so the knowledge and respect of rights that students gain from this combined with understanding respect and tolerance for difference can empower them to tackle prejudice, improve relationships and make the most of their lives successful. So now, what are the main objective of this human rights? That is to sensitize the engineering students to various aspects of human rights. So, and someone or something to respond to certain stimuli makes sensitive. So, these are the main objectives of the subject. Now, see the what is human rights. The main definition, general definition of what is human rights. Yes, the picture clearly shows that. So, these are the various parameters which includes the human rights. So, human rights are rights inherent to all human beings regardless of gender, nationality, place of residency, sex, ethnicity, religion, color and other categorization. This human rights are non-discriminatory meaning that all human beings are entitled to them and cannot be excluded from them of course while all human beings are entitled to human rights not all human beings experience them equally throughout the world yes so human rights refer to the right of every person it is a right of every person to live a dignified life without facing any discrimination on the basis of religion gender caste race or country or either way we can define as the basic rights and freedoms to which all human beings are entitled often held to include the right to life and liberty, freedom of thought and expression and equality before the law. Now here comes the different rights we'll be having under the human rights. The first one is right to life, next right to liberty and security, right not to submit to slavery, servitude, forced labor or bonded labor, right not to subject it to torture or cruel, inhuman, degrading treatment or punishment, right to be free from gendered violence, right to freedom of association, right to freedom of movement, right to the highest attainable standard of physical and mental health, right to just and favorable conditions of work, right to an adequate standard of living, right to social security, right of children to special protection, etc. These are the different important rights we are having under the human rights. Now, we are going to see about the a basic general important
importance of human rights what are the main basic importance of human rights so what is the main necessary what is the main necessary importance of the human rights yes so there are some five categories under the importance of human rights the first one is nothing but the right to live next freedom of thought expression and religion right to acquire nationality right of protection against arrest and detention right to education so these are the five importance of human rights now let us see each and every category elaborately the first one we are going to see is the right to live now what is the right to live that is every individual gets human rights from the birth so neither the government nor any organization or individuals has the authority to take away our rights so none of them are not having any rights to take away our freedom of life freedom of speech or freedom of religions everything so this human rights are actually a, a universe in nature so human rights are universal in nature now yes the picture shows clearly i have a right to live so that means so that much freedom we are having to live in this world the right to live means the right to live with dignity so with dignity so that is it means that it it is a fulfillment of all our basic needs as well as having an environment conducive to one's development a person can develop his personality only if he or she can think freely so that comes the second category of importance of human rights that is nothing but freedom of thought so what is freedom of thought yes so we are having the freedom of thinking the freedom of thinking so a person can develop his personality only if he or she can think freely and has the freedom of expression and has the freedom of expression so that is nothing but the freedom of speech ultimately that is nothing but the freedom of speech so every individual is a rational being so he or she must have the freedom of thought and expression and next comes the freedom of religion so it is based on the individual choice it is an important aspect of human rights the important point is right to acquire nationality yes it means that the right of an individual person to get the status of citizenship in their own country so it is our right to acquire our nationality in our own country yes an individual gets the political rights to vote so and contest elections as a rightful citizen every individual has right to vote and every individual has the opportunity to participate in the affairs of the country <coughs> comes the right of protection against arrest and detention so if a person being arrest means so to arrest or detain anyone without a proper 
other reason is considered against human rights. So this point says in article 22 also. So the different type of articles we are going to see in our next next videos. Okay. Now, so every country must have a proper legal and judicial system to preserve the country's human rights. Next comes the last important point is the right to education. Yes, so every human being has the right to education, right of this education. So education helps the individual to be in a dignified life to be in a right to life. So education is an important tool to serve in this nation. So education helps to dispel the ignorance of the individual. So it provides the opportunity. It provides the opportunity for development and as well as so express our thoughts. So education creates a will to fight against injustice and exploitation. So these are the importance of human rights. That is right to live. So freedom of thought, expression and speech. So right to acquire nationality, protest against, protect against arrest and detention and finally a right to education. So these are the important aspects, important points in basically a human rights. Last one we are going to discuss in this video is human rights characteristics. What are the important characteristics uh, in human rights? Yes. The main important characteristics are, the first one is universal. That means human rights belongs to all people. So as I said earlier, so it is a human rights or universal in nature. So that's, that is the first important characteristics that is universal. Second one is inalienable. That means human rights cannot be taken away. It is human rights or our rights, our people rights. Like the third one is interconnected. So that is human rights are dependent on one another. Next, fourth one is indivisible. That is human rights cannot be treated in isolation. Then the last one is nothing but the non-discriminatory. That means human rights should be respected without prejudice. So in this video, so we discussed about the meaning of what is human rights and next we discussed about the importance of human rights and the finally we discussed about human rights characteristics. Thank you all for watching this video. Thank you very much.